Today on Handy Dad TV, I'm going to show you how to set up and use the Sutro Smart Pool Monitor. That's coming up. Welcome to Handy Dad TV. I'm Chris Heider, your virtual dad in the cloud, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Sutro Smart Pool Monitor and let you know my thoughts on it. Now, in the past, I've used a Smart Pool Monitor. I'll put a link to that video down in the video description but I wasn't really happy with it. Wasn't ready for prime time. This one, I think, is gonna be much better. Now, full disclosure, I did get this from the company for free. They saw my other video and said, hey, we've got a better pool monitor for you to try out. And so I said, all right, I can do that. Now, I don't have a pool anymore, but my daughter does. So we're at her house. I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna get it set up in there so it can monitor their pool for a couple of weeks and then we'll give you our thoughts. The Sutro monitor is about the size and weight of a large bottle of wine. The box includes one test cartridge, two batteries, and a Wi-Fi hub that doubles as a battery charger. The monitor is obviously waterproof because it goes in your pool, but the hub isn't, so it needs to stay inside your house and within 100 yards of your pool. The monitor opens by unscrewing the top to reveal where the battery goes and where the test cartridge is installed. All right, I put the battery in there and it is charging. So I'm gonna give it a little while, get it fired up. Well, you know me, I can't leave well enough alone. So I opened up the cartridge and uh, you can see that there are these five test tubes or vials or syringes whatever you want to call them that are down in the bottom and I imagine since there are holes in the bottom of the cartridge that the um, the unit must push pistons up inside those tubes and it actually mixes a certain amount of reagents somewhere in a vial and it does a test just like you would do if you were using the drops of reagents in a regular test kit but you know how hard it is for you to sometimes get a good reading because of the different daylight or sun exposure, whatever. It must do it with a controlled, you know, it's internal there. So it's got a controlled light source and it's probably providing much more accurate results than you can do yourself. So can't wait to have that battery charged and get this thing fired up. Setting up an account was fast and easy with the free Sutro app. It gives thorough instructions to connect the hub to your Wi-Fi network and pair it with your monitor. Connected to the Wi-Fi now. Twist the lid on the monitor, pull up and put the battery inside the monitor. Okay, I can do that. All right, so one side is the battery. I'm gonna pop that in there. Pops in. I got a light here. And it says install the cartridge this side out and remove this before installation. That just goes in here. There we go. And it clicks in. Okay, push down on the top until it clicks, then twist the lid until it clicks just once. It should sound like a gas cap closing, huh? There's the click. Alrighty, let's look here. We own a pool. How many gallons is your pool? I think it was about 35,000. Uh, yeah, give or take. Alright, what type of sanitizer? Chlorine. We don't use mineral, ozone, or UV. Alright, well, we're going to try it with 35. Give us a minute. They're checking everything. Alright, we failed our check a little bit. Uh, firmware is not up to date and the battery is not 90% charged. It originally said 100%, but it lied. It's really only 56. Oh well. I let the battery charge and came back the next day to finish the setup. All right, at this point, it is telling me to ensure that the device is in the water before proceeding. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now with Sutro, you can let it float around the pool like this or you can tether it. I'm not sure where we're going to tether it yet, but for now, I'm just going to let it go. All right, at this point the device is in the water and it says that it's updating the firmware. So, that's what I'm waiting for now. 
One of the things I really like about the Sutro app is that uh, it has this thing called the chemical profile, which allows you to tell the app all the products that you use in your pool. So if I click complete chemical profile, you can see primary sanitizer, it says add a chemical. So the neat thing about this is it actually scans the barcode. So I have a pretty big tub of chlorine tablets here. And so I'm just gonna scan the barcode on it. Searching for product. There it is, members mark chlorinated tablets. You can tell where I buy them, that's Sam's Club. I'm gonna say yes, save. Good, that's the primary sanitizer. Secondary sanitizer. I'm gonna record this Power Powder Plus from, which is Shock, from Leslie's. Let's see if it scans that. Leslie's Power Powder Plus. Yes, save. Cool. I'm gonna run out and grab some pH decreaser and I'll, I'll come back. Okay, I ran out to the store and I got some pH down and I got some baking soda, which is used to raise alkalinity. And I scanned those things in and you can see that the app, uh, my chemical profile is now complete. So when I go back home, it shows me my pool needs a treatment and it tells me exactly how much of my chemicals, the ones that I've scanned, it tells me exactly how much of these things to put in to my pool, which I think is really useful. So it's right now it's telling me that my alkalinity is low, my pH is high, and free chlorine is actually low as well. So I need to do some adjusting to get this pool looking good before the 4th of July. If you don't take the time to scan your actual chemicals, the Sutro app will give you generic recommendations like you see here. But you really want this to be idiot proof. So take the time, scan your chemicals, and it will give you exact recommendations like this. You can also click view treatment explanation and it will tell you exactly why it wants you to add these chemicals. This is great for first time pool owners. Now I've been burned in the past by an inaccurate pool monitor. So I tested my water manually for several days before trusting Sutro. Here you can see a side-by-side -side comparison of Sutro's readings and a popular brand of test strip. Sutro is telling me the pH is 7.9, which is too high, and that's why it's red. It wants me to add pH down to adjust it. The test strip, to me, looks a little high as well, but honestly, it's not high enough to do anything about it. And that's the problem with test strips for reading pH. The colors are so subjective that it's hard to know if the water is balanced or not. Sutro is also telling me that the free chlorine is 1.0, but it looks like zero on the test strip. Either way, I'd immediately shock the pool if it ever gets this low, because it would take too long for chlorine tablets to dissolve. Sutro is also saying the total alkalinity level is a little low, but in this case, the test strip to me looks okay. This screenshot was taken on July 5th. I added pH down a couple of days before, and I noticed the readings hadn't moved. Then I noticed the timestamp on the last test completed. It hadn't taken a reading in two days. I went to the hardware tab and I saw there was no connectivity to the hub. It turns out the hub got unplugged accidentally and nobody realized it. After I plugged it back in, everything turned green again, but it would be nice if the app gave a notification when it loses connectivity. In the settings tab, you can select when to be notified of your readings. You can choose to just be notified of readings with treatment recommendations, or you can be notified of all readings, or get no readings at all. But then you'd be missing the point of having a smart pool monitor. I recommend you choose all readings, either once per day or as they occur. Then when the pool is perfectly balanced, I get these awesome notifications on my Apple Watch that I open the app and feel really accomplished to see that the pool is perfect for a swim. Once a month, they send a new cartridge, and the app reminds you that it's time to change it. So this is my first time changing it. And it's just like the one that came in the box originally. And all it says is install the cartridge this side out and remove this before installation. Now, it's very important to dry it off. 
so that when you open it up there's no water on it. So now on the app you can see it's definitely telling me that it's time to replace the cartridge. And if you go to the hardware settings, you can actually see how many are left in the cartridge. And here it says there are two left. Oh, now it says zero tests left. A little while ago it said two. And it says no battery. <laughs> oh, in the hub there's no battery because I took it out already. So this is the battery that's fully charged from the hub. Now I'm going to say service the monitor. I've got 15 minutes or by the pool and the monitor is removed from the pool. The device is out of the water. So now it is putting the monitor in service mode. I don't know if you could see that, but now it's going to ask me to flush it. There you go. Look at that. All right, scan the cartridge. Dry tether and the device. Okay. Everything is nice and dry. Open the lid and pull up on the core until it stops. Now I'm going to take the battery out. And wait 10 seconds. That's the old one. I have the newer one here. And now I'm going to just pop these little clips and this comes right out. Put that right back backwards. Alright, that's in. I'd say that was 10 seconds. New batteries in. Close the core. When it's closed all the way, you hear a click. There, that's closed all the way. And now it just does the, the usual check of everything. All right, now it says, please ensure your device is in the water before proceeding. And then they're going to update the device and then take a new reading, check back after an hour, and they'll have more information. Great. All right, back to the pool it goes. When I first started using Sutro, the app had a button to view pool chemistry that popped up a little window showing the latest readings. I gave them feedback that I was a little disappointed that I couldn't see the history of readings. They have all the data, why not graph it for me? Well, they must have had that in the works already because a couple of weeks later, the app was updated to say, view readings history. When you click that button, it shows a graph of your pH, free chlorine, and alkalinity readings for the past week, or even the whole month. It's a really useful feature because it has taught us not to overreact every time something is high or low. For example, when you look at this monthly graph of the chlorine, you can see exactly when we shocked the pool, around July 8th. If I overlay this with the alkalinity graph, you can also see how the shock affected the alkalinity in the same time period. Then around July 18th, the alkalinity tested in the red zone. So I added baking soda as instructed to raise it, and you can see it went a little too high at first. But then it came down to normal a few days later, and it's been fine ever since. I think Sutro is a well-made device with a really good app. I especially like the chemical profile and that it gives treatment recommendations using my chemicals. Because it uses Lamotte reagents and tests three times a day, Sutro is very precise. Almost too precise. I've learned not to overreact to each individual reading. Now that the app shows the history, I can look back at the trend and make adjustments if I really feel they're needed. Bottom line, I think Sutro is a worthwhile investment to free up your time and keep your pool looking its best. Click on the link in the video description for more information.